Hello and welcome back. So now our zombie can walk between different walk points and also the zombie can now detect that if the player is in division radius or are taking radius. Now in this video we will create a function so that when we come in the uh, vision radius then the zombie will run towards the player okay for that after this card function let's create another function by the name of pursue player and then right here we will say that if the player is in vision radius and if the player is not in the attacking radius then what we will do we will simply call the pursue player function and right here we will simply say zombie agent dot set destination and the destination will be the player position so what we can do right here let me type player body let's just cut it from here and at the top let's make a reference to the player transform okay so we will say public transform player body now we will scroll down right here we will set the zombie towards the player body dot position okay save this get back to the unity let's make the vision radius for the zombie as 15 now let's play the game and okay we need to assign the player body right there so first of all assign the player body then you can play the game and now we will notice that when we comes inside the vision radius the zombie will follow us we will leave the walking points and we will start following us you will notice that as you can see when we come inside the vision radius the zombie is following us as you can see but the zombie is not changing the facing so for that what we will do right here is that we will say transform dot look at and this we want the zombie to look towards the work points so we will say current zombie position and then dot transform dot position save this get back to unity play the game and now you will notice that when the zombie is walking towards the work point as you can see his facing is accurate now when he walks back from there to the next work point as you can see he now changed faces and now we are in the vision radius the zombie saw us and as you can see now is now facing towards us okay if we run away from the zombie as you can see the zombie is following us the zombie can't follow us right here because we don't have a nerve mesh or a collider on that so that the zombie can detect it as you saw but the zombie can now follow us to this point as well but when he come closer as you can see it just gets inside the player body so in order to prevent that what we will do we will add the capsule collider let's set the capsule collider to up to that point okay So the capsule collider is now set and we will not run inside the zombie or no, the zombie will run inside the player. Let's test it out. Now as you can see we can't run inside the zombie. So this means that now the zombie can follow us 
okay and we come inside the attack range the zombies simply attack us as you can see but we don't have any code for that so in the next video we will allow the zombie to look towards the player okay now as you can see the zombie is not looking towards us but he is still attacking so in the next video we will change the facing of the zombie when the zombie attack us and also when the zombie follow us as you can see the zombie change his facing but when we are in the attack range as you can see the zombie doesn't change the facing so in the next video we will concentrate on the attacking of the zombie so see you guys in the next one